Hello friends, today I want to join a Windows 7 computer to a domain Windows Server 2016. So first we start the Windows 7 computer and after when this is start, we start again for Windows Server 2016 and then after join the domain for Windows Server 2016 so and it's starting now so so Windows 7 computer is on so we have to check the network setting here and after After here, we have to go to network and here we check the setting. So change adapter setting and properties and here we go for IPv4 and the network is 192.168.202 for this computer. And our DNS server is 192.168.2.200 and then OK and is here and we close this one here cancel and close this one here and after we start Windows Server 2016 When this is start and we have to join the domain through the Windows 7. There are two options you can join through the network ID or you can join through the domain group. So there is an option. So Windows is starting on 2016 here. So we have to open both <coughs> computers same time so we can communicate so this is the server so click input here auto control delete and for the password so password one and enter and wait for is everything start so we can okay so here is the local server and here is the solo dot local is the domain and here is the IP address for this domain so what we have to do just minimize this one and go to windows 7 and here we go to just like my computer just like here just like here and then after right click on that and properties and here we can see here so change setting and there's a computer name semi so just click on that and here's the option you can connect visit through domain click here network ID or you can join from here so just click from here and it's a member so just one more time this is the domain and you have to do just like put the domain name so here the domain name is salo dot 
CL local and click OK and see it's prompt to ask the username and password so password is administrator so A. administrator and domain password is like what you choose for so click on that but after this one is joining so basically this is the way you can join any PC to here so basically this is the thing and after you have to OK and it's say before starting save any open files on the programs so just OK and click OK and close restart now and this is the part of domain so we can see after when we go to Windows Server 2016 when this computer restart and it shows the setting this is the part of domain so we can log in from here to here or the user they can log into this computer so and it say input keyboard and control so put the password so okay so because there is two passwords so I don't know which one I put it so I just without password or for this PC or this one I have to change so when we go here back to control panel system security system and you can see before this one not a part of the domain before so this pc before was a semi pc and this is the solid or local so basically this is the part of domain so this is basically the part of domain and this is this is a part of domain so do domain name is like you can see here solo dot local so this one is the basically you join the domain from this computer and we can check after if this is the domain so you can see active directory and here is sites there is a user and computer so click on that and you can see there is two PC one is the user one and one we just added so this one shows this is the semi PC dot local this is a domain we add just right now onto the computer to this domain and this one have no information you can see D there is no DNS name so this is blank so this is not a part of domain yet but this one when you click on that and it's a semi PC dot solo so this is a part of this domain now so and you can click here so and this one is the difference between the two computers if you have and you can add here like new user or computer is here but you can use as a new user even you can use as printer you want to and you can click ok and after it's right here it's sharing folder so if you go here and map you can map this one as a network drive or you can delete you can put move you can go more thing you can do it and the, all the tasks like move find and map this so map this drive you can drive but like basically what we use and here basically our functions are here if 
Sammy is the part of the domain now, his computer, but here is Sammy has no password. So why I just try to first time and it's not, but we can add the password so he can log into this domain. So member remote and here you can use description for Sammy and he can log into the this computer also and there is a remote support so also you can go with the remote support here desktop support so you have to do for like computer name like what is the name Sammy and you can go here and it's connect through this one and you have to enable the permission so basically how this work so Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.